Hi Virgo, welcome back. This is going to be the 15th to the 17th reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and North Node Virgo. Okay, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, the 15th to the 17th of July for Virgo. Okay, so let's see what we have for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, North Node. Virgo it was the 15th to the 17th of July, please, for Virgo. Let's get a love message for Virgo. Sun will rising, Jupiter, North Node, Virgo. Give me one for Virgo. Okay, there we have it. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags here. Wow, in abundance. You've done the work, abundance flows to you now. Okay, and support. So you are going to get some kind of support monetarily. I do feel like that, first of all, Virgo. Okay, lean on your inner circle during this time or someone's going to your fate. This is a destined partnership or somebody, yeah. Interference and external parties intruding in this relationship and denial. Detach your love to clearly see the truth and regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you and wait. The timing was is not quite right and the obstacles unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement and second chance and obsession lesson and healing so somebody wants to heal something with you but i feel like now is not the time to do it i feel like the lesson hasn't been completely learned on it on either your part or this other person's part and how they did you or treated you or whatever fuck this is so be, be very careful here virgo with how you move what you're doing or whatever the fuck this is okay it says warning, don't miss me, don't dismiss the red flags. But you have abundance of support there. So lean on your inner circle. They're gonna be here for you if you need some kind of support or whatever this is. Monetarily with the abundance card, or this can be in whatever situation. All right, we're gonna pull from my deck. All right. Let's see for Virgo. Summer rising, Jupiter North Node for the 15th to the 17th of July for Virgo. Summer rising. The North Node for Virgo. Summer rising. Jupiter North Node for um Virgo the 15th to the 17th of July. What is this um warning? Yeah, we have at um at the bottom forgiveness. Okay, they wanted to stick out. They told me to put it there. Who else got this forgiveness card? Aries. Okay, and um yeah, self-care. Yeah, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So I feel like there is a need to be very careful. Okay, don't dismiss the red flags. I feel like you could forgive someone, but don't dismiss the red flags. Yeah, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, and leap of faith. It's safe for you to make the move you're considering. Okay, and go slow. Take time to get to know each other in true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed. I'm getting you need to set boundaries. You need to be patient with a situation, especially past life and twin flame and longing, especially if it's a twin flame. Retreat time alone. I feel like you've retreated or pulled your, inner, your energy away and somebody may be longing for you, missing you or warning you. Or this is you, Virgo. But warning came out first. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself and another will help you move forward. So forgiveness is always key, as they say, right? But that doesn't mean be a fool. What is this for Virgo? The 15th to the 17th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, North Node, Virgos. Give me something here. Okay, we have Tamia officially missing you. So I feel like somebody misses you here. What else? We have Brian Midnight, One Last Cry. Somebody could be listening to that music, those songs, or this is you. You could be listening to that or, no, or that music or whatever, okay? What is the what else for Virgo? All right, we have Amanda Perez, Angel, Wild Card. Yeah, who got this? I feel like, I feel like uh, Aries got this in their reading. Make sure you go check out Aries reading. Okay, for sure. Okay, yeah, you're pulling a lot of that Aries energy, that 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 Mars heavy energy. Yeah, Fantasia, when I see you, somebody wants to see your ass, okay, or you want to see them or whatever. Selena, I could fall in love, and Chris Brown and Young Thug go crazy. I feel like somebody wants to see your ass. They're going crazy or, or something like that. What is this right here? Amanda, yeah, Amanda Perez, Angel, unappreciated. Yeah, somebody that cherished unappreciated. Somebody did not appreciate you. And now they're seeing just how much of an angel or how much you meant to them or or, or or something like that. Give me a couple of more here. Yeah. I want to impregnate you. Yikes. Okay. And I stalk your social media sites on a daily. Yeah. Did Aries got this? 
I'm working on myself to come back to you and I know you're my twin flame. I swear Aries got that card too. So I'm definitely getting your dealing with an Aries and you got significant Aries placements. Brian McKnight, the only one for me. Somebody feels like you're the only one for them. Okay, this is how they feel. All right, come back to me. Yeah, and somebody wants you to come back or somebody wants you to come back now or that, I don't know, somebody. This is what I'm hearing, like, come back now or stop playing or something like that. You're like, no, I'm not playing. All right, let's see what the message is. What Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, North Node, 15th to the 17th of July for Virgo. 16th to the 17th of July. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be also extending this on my Vimeo. So you guys need to make sure to go check that out. Okay, the link will be in the description box on my community tab as well as in the comment section if you guys want to get an extended version. It seems like it's going to be a good one. I feel like it's an Aries you're dealing with or somebody with Mars energy, like an Aries Scorpio type energy. You could be a Virgo or have Virgo. I mean, you are a Virgo because I'm reading for Virgo or they could or somebody or something like that. Okay, but I feel like somebody wants you to come back now or somebody like wants to like control you or somebody really wants like sex with you or yeah with passion i'm telling you like somebody really wants to like be with you intimately and stuff you're like no i don't i don't do that or i don't fuck around with that or no I'm, I'm super good on the sex and shit or something like that but somebody sees you as an angel they did not appreciate you and they they're but it says warning so we need to be we need to take heed to that and see what that let me see what that warning is i'm also going to be pulling from this deck in the extended on my vimeo i'm going to pull from this um love deck i'm going to also pull from the um this deck as well, the Island Times Wellness deck. So if you guys don't want to miss that and tap more into what it is going on, then you need to go click the link and get the extended. Yeah, warning, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're like, yeah, you're, you're setting boundaries. You're like, no, you're not dismissing the red flags or anything like that. Yeah, the Temperance card, and you're doing it there. You're pulling it twice, okay? You're pulling the Temperance twice here, literally, Okay, because that's the Temperance card in my deck, the Angel um, um, Angel Perez card. Okay, and then this, I feel like you're going to, it's like the iron glove with like the velvet fist iron glove um, analogy or whatever the fuck. I feel like that's what you're using in the situation. It's like I'm not dismissing the red flags, Queen of Swords. I got my sword up and ready, bitch. Could have um, Libra placements or Sagittarius. You have the Two of Swords. You're, you're, you have to make a t tough decision here. Okay, but I feel like you're doing it very, very sweet, like with the temperance, very temperate, but it's it's, it's a no-go for you. You're not going to dismiss the red flags, just period, with the queen of swords, that shit is dead. All right, so let's extend it and see what comes out in the love oracle deck and, and the rest of these other three decks I'm pulling out of. I'll meet you over in Vimeo.